Hey guys, this is Paul with RC Fun Fighters. Um, this is just going to be a quick video of some more test flights with the FF117 70mm EDF uh, that's run basically on 4S. I decided to try um, two different battery setups that I had on hand already. I didn't, haven't bought any new batteries yet. Um, but what I decided to do is take two smaller uh, race drone batteries. Um, they're 1300 milliamps each so combined that's 2600 milliamps at 4s but it's rated at 95c and then for the second flight i did a flight with a 5s lipo battery that's only 220 or two yeah 2200 milliamps um just to see what would happen um, if you want more detailed information about power output and stuff like that watch at the end of the video i put that at the end okay guys you know just to show you before I go out to fly, I added a GPS to the back of the plane. So hopefully it'll function and we can get some speed uh, data for the different batteries that I'm going to be testing. Okay guys, um, this is going to be the first flight. It's with the two 1300 milliamp 4S uh, pyro drone batteries. Let's see how it goes. Got a little bit of a headwind, so it should be good for takeoff. <laughs> Definitely felt like it had a little more torque roll on that takeoff. So this is the battery setup that pulled 1200 watts, a little over 1200 watts. I do have the GPS on there, so hopefully we can get some speeds. It doesn't look like it's a whole lot faster. That was a full throttle run. I guess it does feel a little more powerful. Let me do a full throttle run coming towards me because that's going with the wind. Yeah, we're flying in a little bit different uh, flying spot. For, the, for me, I'm up on top of the berm today and I'm gonna try and land in the grass field that's on top of the field are on top of the berm here. So. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna try and bring it into the field over here. About perfect timing, I'm out of juice. Oi. Okay, guys, that's the first flight. Let's put the other battery and see how it flies. Okay, guys, the GPS picked up a peak speed of 61 miles an hour. That's not too fast. Um, it's definitely a little slower than the Viper Jet that did 71 with the same motor. Um, again, this does have more drag, it's got a bigger fuselage and stuff hitting the air. So that's not too bad, though. All right, guys, I'm back at the uh, landing site. I took the batteries out. They're a little warm, but they're nowhere near as hot as those original crappy batteries that I flew on. Um, so these 95C little 1300 milliamp batteries are pretty good. Okay, guys, here's the second flight with the 5S battery. It'll just be a short flight because this is a small battery. Um, I'll probably just do a couple laps to see what type of speeds we get. <laughs> Yeah, you can definitely hear that thing's winding up harder. Ooh. Okay, I'll do a speed run coming at me. Oh, it's pulling up, wow. Oh, that's just the force of that EDF. Really making a big difference. Yeah, it's definitely going faster with the 5S.
Yeah, with that 5S CDF, it definitely feels like it pushes the nose up when I'm under full throttle. Well, knock on wood, at least the uh, EDF blades didn't <laughs> fall apart. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to start bringing her in. I don't know how long it's going to last. Ooh, gliding in the wind. Ooh. Okay, guys, that's the 5S. I just did a real short flight. Let's see what the GPS says. Huh, what? That can't be right. It says only 59. Maybe I didn't get a, a good clean speed run. Anyway, it did feel more powerful with the uh, 5S battery in there. Anyway, that was just a quick test flight. See uh, if the CDF could handle 5S. It looks like it did okay as long as I wasn't you know, constantly in the full throttle. I think with a bigger battery, um, the 5S battery would be better, you know, and I'd have more flight time. So this was the original battery that I already flew in the uh, previous video. This is the HRB 2600 milliamp 60C 4S battery. And then I decided, you know, I've got some drone batteries. So I thought, you know, let's double up, run them in parallel. Um, these are Revo Electrics 1550C, I mean 1550 milliamp 70C batteries. Um, combined, that's 3100 milliamps of uh, battery. And then the third battery I tested was these pyro drone um, race drone batteries. They're 1300 milliamp uh, batteries rated at 95 C. Then last, just for the heck of it, I decided to test a 5S 2200 milliamp pyro drone battery that's rated at 75 C. So here's the original HRB 4S 2600 milliamp 60 C battery. Again, it pulled 68 amps. Volts start were 16.8, volts drop were 13.92. So we had a total voltage drop, you know, under power load of 2.88 volts. And then it had 965.8 watts pulled and they weighed 9.4 ounces. So the Revo Electrics, these were the ones that had, you know, combined had the most milliamps. It was um, two forest batteries, 1550C, I mean, two, 1550 milliamps, 70C, uh, combined that's 3100 milliamps total so it pulled 69.31 amps so that's barely better than the hrb batteries i had so that wasn't that great of a gain um volt started again was 16.8 dropped down to 14.04 under full power and then so that total voltage drop is 2.76 so that's almost comparable to the hrbs um, the watts only went up about 30 watts you know with with getting the extra 500 milliamps of battery capacity and the weight though was you know quite a bit heavier so that was from 9.4 ounces up to 16.32 ounces with with only a 30 watt gain so that one wasn't really looking too good um what i was surprised though was these pyro drone um 4s 1300 millimeter race drone batteries they're 95c you know combined that'd be 2600 milliamps total so that's you know equivalent to the first battery i flew um capacity wise um it pulled just over 80.5 amps which is a little bit over what the edf is rated at it's rated at 79 amps so that's not too bad you know because i'm not going to be running full throttle all the time um starting voltage was 16.72 drop only dropped to 15.8 a one eight uh, volts so that's only a one and a half volt drop so that's really good you know um and it pulled 1247 amps so that's really good gain so that's you know that's going to be a nice power increase um the weight is a little bit heavier from you know 9.4 ounces up to 13.3 ounces <laughs> okay then the last test i did just for the heck of it was the pyro john 5s 2200 milliamp hour 75 c battery um let's see and that pulled 103.2 amps so that's definitely over what the motor's rated at 
Uh, volt start was 20.88, uh, dropped down to 18 volts. So that one had a little bit larger voltage drop um, compared to the smaller pyrodrome batteries at 2.88. Again, these were only rated 75C batteries. So they're again, they're not as uh, highly rated either. But the wattage, wow, was double what I was pulling, you know, with the original battery. So that was 1,886 watts. So, and the weight um, is only about an ounce heavier, uh, ounce and a half. So from 9.4 up to 10.92. So again, you know, those are somewhat over the rating, or the last battery is definitely over what the ratings are uh, for the uh, Dr. Matt Thrust 70 millimeter EDF. You know, it's only rated for 79 amps. Um, and it's rated to about 1.6 kilograms of thrust, uh, max continuous watts, 1200 watts, max watts for the EDF is rated at 1300. Um, so the best, you know, overall one looks like it's going to be the Piper drone, the two 1300 millimeter, milliamp hour 95C batteries at 2600 milliamps total. You know, it's barely over what it's rated at, at 80.5 and the watts are, you know, right there at almost 1300 watts you know what the edf is rated at so what i plan on doing i'm going to do a flight first with these pyro drone uh, race drone 1300 millimeter batteries and then for the heck of it you know since i'm not too worried about this plane since it's just kind of the beat up test plane i'm going to run the 5s uh, battery and see how it flies see if that edf can hold together <laughs> if the fan doesn't explode um but anyway stay tuned we'll get out for the flights Okay guys, I'm back here at the uh, work table. So after those two flights, uh, it was pretty interesting. I was a little bit amazed that the uh, GPS did pick up a little bit slower speed with the 5S setup. I think maybe that was just because it was going, you know, right into a climb when I got on full throttle. It um, just kind of by the feel of what I saw and felt, you know, kind of seeing the plane fly, it did feel like it was a lot more powerful with the 5S battery. Um, I did take it super cautious since it was a small battery and I didn't want to get stuck out over that um, rock field. So that's why I wanted to hurry up and come back and land in the grass. Um, I'll see if I have a bigger 5S battery. Maybe we'll try and get out and do a reclock and maybe trim it better. Um, so when it goes full throttle, it doesn't pull up so much. But yeah, it definitely felt like the 5S pack, you know, pushing 1800 watts was really um, making the plane move. And it, like I said, it made it want to climb so it was weird anyway that's the end of the video so stay tuned i'm working on the final plans again like i said i've got most of it drawn i'm just working on the final notes um that aren't on there i just got to put a couple other details and stuff like that hopefully by the end of this week i'll try and get them posted to the website okay thanks again for watching rc film fighters catch you guys later